Now, I've also been obsessively on Amazon looking at... <laughs> Good morning guys, so today I'm kind of focusing on getting our house back in order because you know with traveling and everything being crazy with you know the holidays and everything My house has kind of gotten out of hand again So I'm going to start off by doing all of the laundry and getting that out of the way We have you know stuff from like uh, going out of town and just you know regular laundry that I need to do And yeah, we're gonna go from there Okay, first load of laundry is in and I want to know how do you guys do laundry because I feel like recently Especially since we have larger like washers and dryers now I feel like I don't ever have enough whites to justify doing a whole load of whites so I just end up like throwing them back in with the colors and washing everything together and I don't know I like I like the idea of separating out you know different kinds of laundry to do different loads but like I also don't just want to unnecessarily be doing loads of laundry and I'm also like I really want to be using my new washer and dryer to like their full potential and washing everything correctly since like I don't know I am like you know a stay-at-home housewife I want to be doing everything to, I mean, that's kind of my job to make sure that we're doing everything optimally so that our clothes, you know, last longer and they're being cared for properly while they're being washed. At least that's, you know, my take on things. And so, um, I'm also just that kind of person that like, I like following rules and doing things, you know, organized ways. Anyways, um, the problem with that is there's like, you know, you'd end up being doing like 50 loads of laundry every week if you followed each individual care instruction for like, separating by colors, separating by, you know, like, temperatures that they need to be washed, you know, warm water, cold water, like, whatever, and, I, like, I don't know, so, <laughs> how much do you guys separate your laundry? What do you do for your laundry routine and separating things and washing it and drying it and all that fun stuff? I really want to know because I'm trying to, you know, really get a handle on my laundry routine and get everything set up nicely, but I'm just not quite sure how far I want to take things, how far I should take things, so yeah. <laughs> but now I think I'm going to tidy up the kitchen a little bit because I never got around to emptying the dishwasher yesterday, which I normally do every day, and so dishes definitely got piled up yesterday, so I'm going to get all of that put away, and yeah. Want to go outside? Yeah? Is that why you're standing on your bench? You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? You want to go outside? Yeah? Okay, let's go.
All right, now my little munchkin has gotten some energy out of her system, although not enough, it seems. <laughs> Are you so excited? I just took out the recycling, and so she's freaking out because I was out of sight for like five seconds. I know, you're crazy. You're crazy. Tell them all you're crazy. Say, hi, I am Dakota, and I am a Looney Tunes. No? <laughs> okay. Do you want to go unpack? Huh? Will you help me unpack everything? <laughs> I'm gonna go try and unpack all of our suitcases from over the weekend. I don't think we have too much left because a lot of it I already took out to like either, you know, wash or we've just taken it out kind of as we've been home because we needed it or whatever. So shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to try and put all of this stuff away from the weekend. Okay, Melissa is home from work and we got our Wi-Fi extender delivered today. And so she is setting that up. So what's it supposed to do? <laughs> it's supposed to extend your Wi-Fi signal. Supposed to extend your Wi-Fi signal? Basically, we ran an Ethernet cable from the router downstairs in the basement up here to the living room. You plug it into this thing, and it sends out another, like, secondary Wi-Fi signal, like, from this right here. Cool. So since we have that concrete wall in the basement that blocks the signal from the dining room and the kitchen and also makes the signal on the second floor weak, this should make it work better up here. Excellent. All right, it is dinner time. We are having grilled cheeses, which apparently have a secret ingredient in them. Let's see if we can see. Ooh, prosciutto. Did you put prosciutto in them? Yeah. Yum. That's a good idea. Thanksgiving. And then, huh? I don't say Christmas. <laughs> and then, what did we choose? Sweet potato soup? Yeah. Sweet potato bisque or something like that because we uh, thought we had tomato soup, but we did not. So we're trying something new. And we also have our lovely Advent House centerpiece. How beautiful does that look? <laughs> Best wife ever. <laughs> Munchkin, is it time for bed? <gasps> Bless you. Is it time to go to bed? Are you so sleepy? Huh? Melissa's heading up, so she's not gonna be around and say goodnight, but she wanted to say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> You love your mom. <laughs> All right, I'll be up in a few. Okay. But yeah, so it's the end of the night and we... I, did I show them dinner? No. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. No. Yeah, no. go cheese. Um, and we've just been watching Scorpion. I think we just finished the season, right? No. No. Just all the episodes. Uh, well, we caught up on Scorpion. Yeah. And I've also been obsessively on Amazon looking at... <laughs> The um, Department 56, like, little Christmas... I had, like, a hair on my face. There, I got it. It was, it was a fur, not a hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Department 56, like, little Christmas houses that you can, like, make little Christmas scenes with. Growing up, I, I'm pretty sure those were the houses that my mom had. She had, like, a couple and, like, you know, little scenes, some, like, decorative accents and stuff that she was all set up on our entryway table. Did she just slip? Now, were you supposed to switch laundry? Yes. Can you do that or I'll do it or? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I really want to do that in our house. And so I was looking them all up on Amazon and like saving all of my favorites. They have some Downton Abbey ones, which I really, really want. They have like Downton Abbey. They have the Dowager's, Dowager's house and uh, Mrs. Crawley's house. And they have some of the characters, which seemed really fun. But mostly I just like the like historic, like, you know, cute, I guess, in, I don't know, houses, like, covered in snow, like, you know, Victorian houses and cute little, like, cottages covered in snow and, like, I don't know. Uh, I think it's the English, like, I don't know, I'm not making any sense, but basically, I have decided that I do want to start collecting those houses over time. They're not the cheapest things, so I'll probably get, like, one a year or something like that. Not this year, because we've already spent way too much on Christmas decorations, but starting next year, I'm going to start my collection and hopefully by then we'll also have some sort of like surface to set them up on because we wouldn't have anywhere to put it this year. But I want to get like a little console table for the entryway. So that'll be probably where I end up putting them at least for now. But yeah, um, let me know if you guys have the, any of those houses or like do those little setups. I've always liked seeing them all in stores like, you know, the displays for all this you know, fun little miniature Christmassy stuff. So yeah, let me know what I need and which ones are the best because I was looking on Amazon. That was the only place I looked, but obviously, like, I feel like there's way more than what Amazon has. Amazon has a lot, but I got the sense that there was just, like, a ton out there. And so let me know the best, like, way to go about 
finding them or like the best place to get them or to get them inexpensive if possible. I would love any tips or advice. Munchkin, you can go upstairs without me. Yeah, I know you can do it. She's like kind of half like at the stairs, like going back and forth. Like she can't get up them unless I'm encouraging her. You're a goofy, goofy girl. Come here. We're saying goodnight to the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know if you guys have any thoughts or suggestions on that subject. What do you think about it, huh? I, you know, I just, I love little miniature things. And so any excuse to get a little like miniature scene. I always, like when I was growing up, I always really wanted to do like miniature train, like, um, you know, those like train towns, like, you know what I mean? I always really wanted to do that. Come on. Oh. She was trying to come up. She, I'll, I'll bring her up. She's fine now. Um, but, like, you know, those big, like, tabletops of, like, miniature train setups with, like, you know, little towns and stuff. I always wanted to do that. And, or, oh, I do also really want to build, like, a dollhouse. And, like, that's my retirement activity. I've decided I'm going to build dollhouses and miniature furniture because I just like really tiny things. And, yeah, I think that'd be really fun. But, anyways, we've gotten way off track. <laughs> uh, I'm going to head up to bed. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to leave your comments down below with these Department 56 suggestions. And subscribe to follow along with all of this month's Vlogmas. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.